Hey guys, today we are working with a 2017 Duramax uh, L5P. This is a 2021 ECM that the customer set in. It's got the wrong VIN number on it. Uh, so we're going to be changing the VIN number on it. We got the SM2 Pro. We got the HP tuner, the GoDiag box. Uh, and a couple different softwares on the computer. Right here is the pinout that we're using. So you can pause the video and uh, get a good look. These two are important. You're going to need to be able to cycle the uh, ignition while having power to that for this, bin for this software to work. If you just kill all the power, it's not going to take the bin change. So, first thing we're going to do is turn these on. This is going to be our ignition. I'm on 15 here, which is this. And these two are 30. And this is the main power for everything. So, right here is our ignition. This is our... Uh, main power to where we chop all the power all together and there's a uh, I guess you could think of this as like an emergency shut off that just kills everything no matter what so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over here HP tuner identify it so as you can see it's got three two eight seven as the last four, it's a 2021 Silverado 3500. So we're gonna unhook this HP tuner. And we're gonna hook up the SM2 Pro. We're gonna come down here. And we're gonna grab this tool right here. It's called the GM VIN swap, and you can get it at uh, the website there behind uh, the name, uh, customecm.com. Uh, and all this software that we work with, guys, you can also get a hold of me, and I can get it for you. Uh, a lot of times it's cheaper to go through me uh, versus trying to hunt it down on the internet. So... Get VIN. There's our VIN. And we want to change our VIN to this, which is the customer's VIN number. See the difference there? 2233 three is what that's ending in. Um, and one thing, when you get into this tool here, you have to select your tool that you want um, and then once you open it up every time it'll come up with that if it's plugged in also so once we do that click update VIN nope. you gotta make sure that there is not a space at the end where it won't work update VIN Now we will shut off our ignition for 30 seconds. That's probably long enough. Ignition on. Okay. Get in. And it has changed. So we can put this down. We'll undo the SM2 Pro. Maybe. Man, things on there. And we'll hook up the HP tuner. And what's nice about this uh, software is you don't have to have a, a license with HP tuner to go into the VCM editor 
to uh, adjust their, your VIN number or the the scanner and I'll show you that here in a second how you can do it through the HP tuner uh, scanner also so get info and now we have a 2017 with the correct VIN number and if you have purchased your credits with HP tuner and you just want to use the VCM scanner to do this same job. You'll go into here. Click OK. Connect to the car. Go into this special functions system and click change VIN. And that'll walk you through how to change the VIN through this. Um, but you do have to have your vehicle registered with HP Tuners. I'm not going to be any doing any tuning on this. So I didn't buy credits and, and register mine. So I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. If you guys are interested in the software, hit me up as always. Thanks for watching. Later.